Hey guys, what's going on? It's Arcavius, your lovable big boy, and as you can see, I'm here with my main man, Yoroma Uchiha. He's decided to help me out with my brand new si Why is there a top hat on this mud crab? No! No posh mud crabs are allowed here today! Um, this, uh, this is gonna be a brand new series that I'm starting. It's gonna be mod reviews, guys. And, you know, I I've done enough mods and roleplays and everything. You guys always ask me, you know, what mods do you use? What, you know, what are some of the good mods to use, you know? So... I'm gonna go over them, and in this episode, we're gonna be doing anime mods. And uh, for this, for the first mod, it's gonna be a twofer. Um, a twofer. <laughs> uh, it's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna two for one because they kind of go hand in hand. And it's gonna be the Naruto mod and the uh, Uchiha clan mod. <laughs> Now, the cool thing about these mods is they add in so much to the game, as you guys have probably seen from my series. Um, but in order to get these techniques, you need to go over here to the Jutsu Masters, and inside of, uh, right next to Riverwood. Now, I already have majority of the techniques, but if you go inside of here, um, uh, it has, um, it has, uh, the salesman that will give you, that will allow you to purchase the Jutsu, and allow you to, um, some of them will actually follow you, uh, like, for example, this dude right here. You have questions? This is the Jutsu Master Retired. He'll Need sell something. you basic stuff, look. um, or, may or maybe the follower thing was only because I had a follower mod on, um, or maybe the Jutsu Master will follow you. Um, it's been a while to actually... A fine yeah, okay, Dossie will cool. follow you, definitely, and this guy will. So, let's go ahead and let's go into the chamber. I don't know why you're glowing. You're creeping me out, man. So we're gonna come in here, and this is the main room. Now this is uh, from a different mod. It's called the dimensional. It's a dimensional door. Um, I'll get to that on a later date. Um, now the cool things about this mod. Uh, this is the Naruto mod itself. It comes in with this cool little layer, and it even gives you this right here, which is it allows you to transfer your dragon souls in exchange for perks. Uh, well, perk rewards, I guess you could say. And then you come over to these guys, and if you have money, or if you want to just, you know, give yourself money, that's what I usually do. You can buy all the books. Uh, it comes with Kamui, it comes with uh, the summoning jutsu, so uh, this guy does, because he's Conjuration. Um, this is the blacksmith. Huh. And he's your main guy if you want to become the Sage of Six Paths, because he has all the things that you need, which is um, complimentary... Uh, kunai uh, headbands. Actually, I've never seen the hidden stone headband in uh, in this, so I think it's brand new. Actually, the kusanagi, which is uh, Sasuke's sword, comes in. Uh... Oh, sorry, I don't know what that was. Comes in one-handed and two-handed for whatever your style is. The Toby mask and the Sage of Six Paths staff, which I'm not a big fan of, but I will show you guys it. Uh, the sh uh, Shibuki. It doesn't actually work, um, from what I've noticed. Uh, Toby's Dark, and this is the Truth Seeking Orbs, um, but they, they sit, they fit on your back. Okay, so, now let's say you've gone through, you bought everything from everybody. You know, you went to this guy, and you're like, hey, now I got the, you, I got the Chidori's and all the fun stuff. Well, now, you need to, you know, work on being an Uchiha, which, um, this is where this is gonna come into play. You're going to get a skill called uh, if I can just go down here nice and quick um, uh, where is it it's like Sharingan right here Sharingan Awakening and it allows you to choose a path any path that you want dependent um, now the reason I, I can't do it because this is one of my uh, actually you know what? who cares who cares let's go ahead and save um, let's save over this okay now, I'm going to refresh my chakra, or my Sharingan here. So, there's nothing else to unlock. Okay, uh, sorry, that's if you're unlocking something. Um, teleportation Tempest. Uh, sorry, guys, it's just taking a moment to actually find the technique. There it is, refresh the Sharingan. So, you activate that, and now it's processing. Now, obviously, if you were to activate this, okay, this would refresh everything that you have. So now we're going to go down here to Sharingan Awakening. Um, 
Now, this is what you're going to get when you first activate this. This is when you first start the mod. It says, which path would you like to follow? And, of course, this is each, uh, each path gives the players access to different abilities while also having a direct impact on the textures applied, including the eyes of the user. Uh, you can have Sasuke, and these are all of Sasuke's abilities. Um, he has the chance to get the Rinnegan. Uh, this, he has a Susano, which I've never used Sasuke Susano, which could be kind of interesting. Uh, Itachi... Uh, he also has a Susano, obviously. Um, banishes creatures up to level 90. Whoa, I didn't know Itachi Susano could do all this. I should read this more often. Now, the one that you need to follow the most, I would say, if you really want to get the most out of the Uchiha clan mod, is the... God, scared the hell out of me. Is the Madara path, which you get all of the cool Tsukiyomis and all the other stuff, and you get the Renegon, which gives you the, uh, also a perfect Susano. Um... But uh, uh, it gives you a chance to have the Renegon. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. Chosen Madara's Path. And now obviously I am, you know, pretty far ahead. So it's going to give me everything that I had. And I already had the Mongekyo Sharingan. Now, in order to get the Mongekyo Sharingan, it's just the exact same way as, as it does in the, in the show. Which is, if you have a close friend, whether it be a follower or, you know, whatever... Um, if you see them die, if you see them die in front of you, it will unlock your eyes. Or if you kill that person, they will unlock your eyes. Um, I actually need to get outside so I can show you some of the techniques from the Uchiha clan mod. Um, so it's getting a little hot so you might hear my fan a little bit. Okay, now that we're outside, let's go ahead and let's find my Susano, which I am the Madara path. So... Pretty cool stuff. The Susano has different stages. Uh, this is the first stage, which is just the rib cage, which is a really cool um, technique that allows you to cover your body, and it drains your health just a little bit, but you get that back, and you start healing as soon as you're done. Next is the stage two, which obviously you get more rib cages. You get naked. And uh, next is the actual body of the Susano, and um, he can't—he does some good damage, but I personally don't like this form because it, it looks too skeletony. It doesn't look like the Susano that we all know and love. So go ahead, put all my stuff back on. Thanks, mod. And now let's go to stage three, which is um, which is when the Susano really starts to take effect. As you can see, the armor kind of comes into play. You get swords. And I believe there is a way to, uh, I'm trying to remember how to, um, there's a way to switch it to where it's a one-handed sword, but I can't seem to figure out how to do that right now, and, uh, so that's all said and done, and next, uh, I would, I don't, I don't have the, um, the, 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 the things, um, God, what is it called? Ugh. I don't have the Senju uh, DNA in me, so I can't use the perfect Susano. Another cool thing about the Uchiha clan mod is, as you can see, my screen is starting to get blurry. Now, that, that that's, that's not you guys. That is not you guys. That's not my computer messing up. That is the Uchiha clan mod. The more you use your Sharingan abilities so let's let's say um now me I'm a I'm a cheater cheater pumpkin eater so I should have uh Kuoto Amatakatsuku or something whatever it's called and that will uh actually here um help Kota or is it Ko Pato Koat some uh Kato Something. You know what? I'm just going to use the, the Tsukiyomi because I can't seem to find it. Um, let's come over here. And the more you use your techniques that would require the Mongekyo Sharingan, um, your eyes will deteriorate more and more. Um, let me go ahead and toggle God Mode so I can, um, so can kind of spam this. Um, avert your eyes, guys, because spamming the Tsukiyomi will make your eyes... Uh, make things go really bad. Uh, the, I don't know how she just died. I didn't really do anything there. Um, but as you can see, my eyes are slowly getting worse and worse. Um, 
the effects all have about the same as the uh, how the series would go. You need to wait to regain your strength. Okay, so my eyes are um, oh, great. Of course, now now everyone wants to start coming and making noise and everything like that. Yeah, bark, bark. Thanks. Um, great. So I'm gonna. I'm still trying to use as much as I can here. If I keep using against this uh, cow, I don't think it, you've reached your limit. You need to wait. Um, hey, I am I am God moding it up here. Okay, you don't tell me what to do. Um, so my eyes are wrecked right now. So let me go ahead and pop a few Susanos, get things going really bad with my eyes, and um, so go out of Susano go back in this is probably gonna crash my game I'm not gonna lie to you um, and it's gonna go on like this on and on and on uh, you're not gonna be able to stop your eyes from getting worse and worse because you know you're you're using your Mongekyo Sharingan way too much now guys everyone has their own way of saying Mongekyo Sharingan man get you Sharingan however so don't be all oh, you saying it wrong well you know what maybe that's just like how, how I like saying it god y'all y'all are mean um, so yeah, my eyes are getting worse and worse and worse, and then obviously later on, you're gonna get a message from a courier, who is going to allow you to go to Riften, and it's gonna be a message from a, fe a fellow Uchiha, you're gonna get to go to Riften, where you can kill the last Uchiha, second last Uchiha, and claim his eyes, um, but we're not going to do that. I don't want to spoil too much for you guys because the mod is amazing. I want you guys to go ahead and download it, check it out. It is really cool. Um, so next up, we're... G I hear a helicopter outside. So next up, we're going to go over a cool ability called Starburst Stream from Sword Art Online. That's Starburst Stream! <laughs> right guys you you didn't hear me wrong it's in the game uh, I found the mod for it uh, I'm gonna leave the um, the person who created this mod in the description below because he is an awesome person um, his mods are amazing uh, he makes a lot of anime based mods and he just he just he, they rock man they just they rock I'm trying to find a willing person I don't want to use it against her because it's kind of you know mean uh, <laughs> You know, it's kind of—it's like you—you're saying me. You just went around and tried to use Sukiyomi on an entire village. Yes, I know I did that. Okay, whatever. You know what? Raiko, come here. Uh, Raiko is a follower who is a also an Uchiha. She's kind of weird. She's an Uchiha Hyuga Senju hybrid thing, but she's no longer available. You cannot download her anymore, guys. So I will try and get her back out there. But I don't—you know—it's tough to say only because it's not my work. But um. Let's go ahead and bring her out here, and I'll show you the Starburst stream. And so let's go ahead to third person here. And this is a this is a daily power, I believe. And we're gonna right bumper it, and it gives you the Elucidator and his. Um, I don't remember what the other sword is. Um, it has little sound bits of Kirito, and then right towards the end. You'll see, there it is, a little picture Kirito shows up with him doing the ultimate finisher. Uh, it knocks the opponent away. Uh, leaves these really weird lines here. I don't understand why that stays, but let's go ahead and pop another one. Um, now, the sad thing is you can't keep these swords unless, I guess, you have it downloaded in the uh, as a separate mod, which I don't. But I think it's just a really cool mod that you can add in. It adds in a bunch of... Uh, a lot of movement to it, and, um, y'all hear that? God, every time I want to record, something, something's going on. It doesn't make any sense to me. Ugh, oh, I can't win. Okay, so next, I'm not going to use Sword Explosion, because Sword Explosion, I will show you last, because it's, it, it doesn't crash me, but it doesn't end well. Next is the Excalibur. This is Saber's Excalibur, if you guys don't know who Saber is. Um, I'm gonna put a little picture there. Um, I don't exactly know what she's from. I think she's from a game. Um, 
but her her Excalibur ability is pretty cool. You just right bumper, and you and this is a really OP ability. So use this with caution around people. Um, let's go ahead. Look at this. It'll insta-kill anything. It's ridiculous, but you can't spam it. Um, it. It gives you a small cooldown that you have to wait. It'll see how it says top left, Excalibur charge, okay. That means I am good to go. Now, <clears throat> everyone knows this chicken right here has been very mouthy. Uh, I remember when I first started playing this game, he got me killed by a few guards. So we need to ensure that he knows what he did was wrong, and he's going to get Excalibur blasted. We'll try and run. Boom. Look at that. The perfect... Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> I annihilated it. Where did it go? It's gone. Oh, great. Alright, thanks, man. Appreciate that one. Okay, so next up we have is the, um, the Sky Bleach mod. Which is uh, the Skyrim, um, uh, Skyrim Bleach mod. It's called Sky Bleach. Leave me alone, okay? All right, okay. So this this is how the mod works. You're standing in town and you get a message from a courier, and the courier gives you this thing, and it's like a note that has a key to the farmhouse, uh, which is located right here. Um, it's right next to the Fort Greymoor, underneath Bleak Wind Basin, and pretty much directly to the left of White Run. Um, hey, Raikou made it. Hey, Raikou. Um, it comes complete with your own little koi pond with your, with your, with your, oh my god, my dog just walked into my room. That means my door is wide open and I'm going to hear everything. But these guys, these won't harm you. These are actually, uh, friendly mud crabs. Uh, so we're going to leave them be. They're our posh little buddies. Uh, so you're going to come inside here. And, uh, uh, so we're going to come in here. The mannequins usually start moving around at first. That's with any, you know, awesome mod. And you have a lot of storage here, or at least a lot in being to where I don't really store too much stuff in player homes. Uh, so you come downstairs. And... Now, the problem is, is that with this mod, I have no idea where the key is to unlock this cage. I've never figured it out, so we're just going to console command this open. Uh, unlock, and um, my dog is rubbing his head on my bed. Thanks, Rocco. So that's going to open up this little hidden door back here, and this is and this is supposed to be like a little hidden area from your father who leaves behind um, a closed door. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that was actually kind of weird. My dad walked right by me. So you get this, the Asachi, which the Asachi is uh, pretty much your, this is going to be your Zombot Toe. So we're going to grab the Asachi and we're going to grab Father's, um, we're going to get the Shinigami. Now these have no armor value, so I'm not even going to touch these. So you right click this and you just kind of read through and it tells you the history of your father and everything like that. Now, the way the Asachi works is actually quite simple. The Asachi, in order to level it up, all it takes is for you to sleep. Now, I know you guys are thinking, you're like, really? That's it? You don't got to train or nothing? Well, the mod is designed for you to use right away after you're starting a new character because you're supposed to level it up. However, I'm level 68, so I sleep enough times, and as you can see, it just says, you know, no, oh, I didn't mean to... I spent 50,000 gold on nothing. So it gives you a little prompt message over and over, just kind of like how it was, um, cancel. Um, it's going to keep giving you a prompt message, and until, uh, it's going to, did you see the little message up there? Now it changed. It says, wait, who are you? And, um, it says, I know, I am on the right path, I know it, I must continue. Uh, something, sorry. Um, so keep reading, and of course, keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then once you have rested enough after learning uh, everything, you sleep again. You cannot sleep in this location. Oh, God. Guys, unexpected mod review. Oh, God. Oh, it's the Blood Moon mod. Help me. 
This mod is, oh my god, unexpected. I'm sorry, I know it's an anime, but, oh, the Blood Moon mod, guys. This, oh, uh, this makes you turn into a werewolf during the full moon phases. Uh, you kind of ruined my thunder here, Mr. Werewolf. That was not very nice of you. Um, was not expecting that to happen, actually. Uh, so, pretty cool. You guys got a freebie. A freebie of what was supposed to be next episode. And now I'm naked. Aw, oh, yeah. All you fangirls out there looking at your Roma like, oh, snap. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and sleep again. And now, it's come to the point where I can hear my Zanbato's name, which is Zangetsu. And now that I know its name... This is your Zangetsu now. Uh, let me go all the way down. Alright, so there's Zangetsu. I don't remember if I still need to sleep after you get Zangetsu. No, okay. Now that you have Zangetsu, now you can train with Zangetsu. And it's a two-handed blade for right now. And um, I believe you get uh, these powers. Um, daily. I don't know if they're daily powers, actually. Uh, move faster than I can see... Um, there it is, release Zambato. Um, this is going to activate Zangetsu Shikai Final Form. And now you can only get that after training for a little while, but then, uh, obviously this is your new sword, but then we get into the cool stuff. Because once you have trained enough and you're at a certain level, this sword, you can enter Bankai Form, and you get Tensa Zangetsu. And just look how... Look, Look how fast you hit. Look, you move fast, you hit fast, and it's, it's ridiculous. It's it's just like, it's it's amazing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and seal my Bankai because that is way too quick for me. Um, seal, there it is, seal Bankai, and there we go. And I'm still going to move really fast. That's just a status effect that's going to last for a little bit. Um... I, I think that's honestly going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed the uh, small anime mods, and I hope you guys want some more of these Skyrim mod reviews. Don't forget to check out the description below for all the mods used in this week's mod review. And guys, I love you all. This is your lovable big boy, signing out. Peace! Yeah.